Hello everybody, welcome back to this episode of our FC Pripyat series. We're now sitting, uh, what are we on? This is Season 2, Episode 6. And it is time for our youth intake and mid-season update episode. So there will be no games, just to forewarn you, in this game, uh, in this episode. But we have an influx of new talent to assess. Now, I haven't looked at any of these. I have literally just pushed record as this message has come up. I was actually Googling because I was like, we're getting into March. And I'm pretty sure March is the time that the youth intakes come through. Um, so now it's happened and there's a lot of um, re regular sounding names so I'm going to have to start putting some nicknames in but let's just let's just quickly read the, the email that we've received so the following players have been promoted that's all them while it remains very early in their respective careers led by the very gifted Sergei Babenko have a real chance of turning into a go another golden generation so the golden generation that goes on top of our last golden generation and it means that in a couple of years time hopefully we're going to have a team that self-sustains on low wages that we can keep a hold of now i don't want to get too far ahead because there's a part in this video which are going to look at the transfers that have been made in and out but just as a kind of little spoiler alert we have been shafted once again by our chairman and it is really frustrating i don't think the guy's got any ambition in us getting into the premier league as we have again lost some of our better players for, for a pittance so uh, it's really putting us on the back foot. So anyway, um, enough babble, enough talk. Let's actually look at our new youth candidates. So the first one on the list is Alexander Savin. He looks quite good. Goalkeeper, some way off. We're going to have an influx of goalkeepers, which hopefully means we can sell them on. Now, if I am selling on some of these players, even though they have got good potential... I am stipulating, I'm going to have to put something in. I'm going to have to negotiate it before the chairman just accepts it and put like a 50% sell-on clause or try to at least negotiate a 50% sell-on clause or something. Because in the case of many of the players that we've sold so far, they have gone for nothing or barely anything and then their transfer value just literally increases by four or five times the amount. Meerkat sold for around £50,000. I've just recently looked at him again and now he's worth over £300,000. It's not fair at all. It doesn't make any sense as to why our players, when they play for us, are worth nothing and yet they go to another club roughly in the same position of what we're in and, they, and their transfer value increases massively. It puts us on the back foot. But anyway, Alexander Savin looks like a player that I'm going to keep. I'll be looking to offer him a contract soon as well. Arta Buchal. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, uh, somewhat off the pace, 16, so he's a bit of a, bit of a slow burner, but his potential rating's quite good, uh, and he's got some good stats in the right places already, so he's probably going to be someone that goes, uh, that gets trained up a little bit, and then maybe gets sold on for, uh, hopefully what is a good profit, later on down the line, Edward Kit, Kitsuta is our next player, and he's got a very good potential as well, it's good dribbling, good finishing, Good acceleration so far. So, yeah, okay. Good good start all round, really. All of these three so far are all staying. So, that's a really good start. Uh, Vladislav Shapovalov. Wow, again. Okay. We are getting a very good influx of players here. Um, winger. He won't, he's obviously nowhere near ready yet, but he's 15. And, uh, yeah. If we can keep hold of some of these players... Uh, and they reach their potential. We should be getting promoted out of this league. Ah, okay. So this is probably the first player that isn't going to make it as an FC Pripyat player, at least anyway, because his potential ability is less than a hundred. And I have made the conscious decision to only sign youth players that have a potential ability that exceed one hundred, because then that way I'm setting a standard. So he's probably the first one who's not going to make it. Sergei Babenko is the one who's very gifted. So I'm going to leave him till last, like we did on the last Youth Intake episode. As so we, can, can, we can then kind of build up to it. Next, Edward Protishuk. Uh, wow, well, okay, yeah, never mind. He's not going to be around for long. Alexander Yermakov. Uh, he's teetering on the 100. He probably won't ever make it in the squad for us, but he's got a decent technical ability in the right place. In, in the right places, positioning's good, meaning that I can actually 
and decisions are good as well, which means that I can actually maybe start to play some kind of offside trap if he ever if he ever made it into the first team. Andre Turin, uh, nope, he won't be making it. Vladislav Papuk won't be making won't be making it either. Yuri Tarashuk, another Tarashuk on the books, and he is good enough. Can he play as a halfback? Not really. I'm gonna have to start looking at a different formation soon as well. But um, I'm not yet. I'll yet to make a decision on him. My, my instincts say that he won't make it, but you never know. Taraz Petrucci. Nope. Never mind. Sorry, mate. But thank you for trying. Eugene Takachuk. Uh, he's teetering, isn't he? He's he's kind of on that. He's on the precipice of. Um, of, of making it into the squad, but we'll see. Valentin Lichovidko. Uh, again, he's falling just short, so he probably won't make it. Alexander Butt. Nope. And Victor Leofotchak. Yep, okay. He's probably someone that's going to remain and stay about. Good sportsmanship as well. Um, yeah, could, could come good for us. Uh, and that's it. Okay, apart from Sergei. Babenko. So in three, two, one. He's a striker. What? Oh my god. Look at this potential ability. That's insane. That can't be right. He's like someone. He could come into the. He could come. He could come into the team now, and he's fifteen. Wow. Okay. So. I mean, he. We're signing him. We're signing him on a full-time contract. Uh, for two years at ten pound a week, um, we'll try that for, to begin with. We'll call you a hot prospect, mate, because we're not going to undersell you. Perfect. Wow, wow! Look at it. Ambitions. Fuck. His ambition means he's probably going to leave us by the time he's sixteen. Professionalism is amazing. <sighs> Yeah, he's in the first team. No, like, no doubt about it. He is in the first team. Welcome aboard, Sergey. Oh, my God. Okay, wow. Brilliant. I'm, I'm, I'm ridiculously happy about that. So, now, um, it's probably time and probably sensible that we discuss some of the stuff that's been going on around the club because it has been manic. Absolutely manic. Our chairman has not been our friend. However, we've managed to get some decent loanees in place. I've been uh, more heavily looking at the Russian divisions to see if there's anyone who's was coming through the ranks that we could get on loan, and we have done. We've lost and sold a lot of players um, who were, some of them were first teamers, uh, some of them were some of our best ever players, and uh, I'm, I'm gutted, really. The first one here is Mikhailo Protovsky. He as you know, was pretty much our first, our starting right, right back. Um, Lviv, Liv, uh, wait, if you're saying it like Kiev, so Kiev, Liev, I will say Liev. Um, the transfer deal could possibly go up to £175,000. But, uh, yeah, we're losing some of our best. Kerchik, we, we finally got off the books. He went across to Slask Rothklaw, which are, who were in the Polish... First or uh, Premier League or First Division, I can't quite remember. Sergei Taran went to Ruk Vinicky, who were in the same league as us. Yuri Kravchuk, again, who was um, our superb left winger, has gone to Lviv. All of these sanctioned by our chairman, I might add. S uh, Stetsenko finally went. Roman Share again, went to Lviv um, as well. He was one of our highly rated youth, youth players as well. Um... Chomoretz took our very well-rated left-back. I mean, our, our youth setup has been absolutely decimated. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you the new-look team shortly. But, we, I mean, we've got a fair bit of money in, which is great. But a lot of them are probably undervalued still as well. And to compensate, we've had to get a load of frees and a load of loan signings in. Our squad at the end of this season is going to be very bare-bones. And we're going to have to probably rely on our youth setup a lot more than I wanted to. Which could be detrimental to us to our following season, or hopefully if they're, if they're as good as, or get as good as what Sergey um, is, then we we may actually have some kind of chance. But 
Yeah, we've got Maxim Danlin from Spartak Moscow, Grigory Novikov from Zenit. Um, we re-signed Artem Rudnitsky. I think from a previous episode, I showed you that we sold him to Hernik. He only played six times. And then he went to FK Minsk for 14k. And then he was transfer listed. Um, because what I did, I went on to scouting. And because I already had him in um, scouted, he appeared up here. And I saw a little listed sign next to his name. And I was like, buzzing. So, uh, in fact, look at this. Polishuk's now listed for loan as well. I haven't seen that. Uh, and he was someone that was, like, going to be the future captain of the club. But, see, you know what I mean? They're, they're taking my players off me and, and putting them in the under 21s. They haven't got, like, loaning them. It's, it's an insult, to be fair. But our chairman's a money-grabbing twat. So, um, yeah, we're going to have a big new-look lineup as well. So, it, it, it puts us in a very precarious situation when it comes to the league because the team needs to gel. They need to get their um, their shooting boots on. We're already starting to fall away from the rest of the pack. We've got to play Dnipro in the next couple of games as well. Our form has massively dropped off. As you can see, it's been draw, 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 loss, draw. And because of that, we're now dropping down the table in a ridiculous fashion to a point where a couple of games ago, we were first. So we really need to sort this, sort this stuff out. As you can see, I've, I've managed to... Um, Arrange a couple of mid-season friendlies, uh, just to try and get the fitness levels up. And we've been getting smashed for fun in those as well. Um, we lost on penalties to FK Poltava, who aren't even a um, recognised league club in this in this database. So we've got one more friendly, and then we're going to kick things off again with uh, Kolos Kvalivka. Um, so because there's one, two, six, seven, eight, nine games left, I'm probably going to do just one more episode this series where we'll probably we'll probably focus it around this area, as we've got, we're going to have a better idea of where we're going to finish around here. I am very very excited though. There is one good thing to come from all this, and that is this boy Sergei Babenko. That potential ability is brilliant, and it makes me feel like in a couple of years' time I could be playing two up top with Tarashuk and Babenko, and then maybe what it also means is then Aksionov, who's 25, in, he started, to get, oh, again, 32 and a half million, sorry, 32 and a half, I, I fucking wish, 32 and a half thousand does not justify how good this player is in this, in this league, because as you can see, last year we got 15 in 22, this year he's, he's dropped off a little bit, so um, I am slightly concerned with that, I think, I think what I'm going to do, there is a club that's interested, um, I don't know who that is. Can I check? Uh, Minsk. Oh, of course they are. Minsk are interested. So maybe at this point um, I'm going to actually um, maybe tout him out just so I could push some of the youngsters through. I, I have to. I absolutely have to. Plus it reduces my wage budget slightly as well. So um, yeah. Listen, we'll, we'll end the episode there. Um, really excited by the youth intake. Oh my god. Um, we've got some good. We've got some good players in, but again, they're only on loans, so they are aren't going to be with us in the long run. Um, we're going to have to heavily rely on youth to get us through this now. But we'll leave it there for the time being. Um, if you like the episode, if you're excited by the youth candidates, especially with uh, I keep forgetting his name, but I won't be very soon. Babenko, um, listen, drop a like, hit that subscription button. It it, may, it means the world to me. Um, it, it validates the reasons why I'm doing this. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it, and um, I'll see you in the next one. So until then, because it keeps cutting me off at the end of when I make these videos. Until then, you take care now.